Hello friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Amir and I'm a fifth year architecture student at the London School of Architecture and in this video I'm going to explain the secret behind the work of Pac, a famous crypto artist who has now generated more than a hundred million dollars in just a few months by selling NFTs. In just a few minutes I'm going to reveal the secret source of Pac and I'm going to explain what did he do differently which makes him very unique among all the rest of the crypto artists. Now, who is Pac? Pac is probably one of the most influential crypto artists who has managed to develop a unique approach of designing digital artwork, which are dynamic. In a way, he has brought game theory and storytelling in NFT art to really show us how far we can go with NFTs. His recent drops, which got the most attention of collectors and the NFT community, are dynamic artworks which are designed to change in various ways after the collectors have bought them. Although he is very capable of creating aesthetic driven artworks, his most celebrated works are a combination of complex programming and minimalistic graphics. His most recent drop named Merge sold about 100 million dollars only in its release in the matter of 48 hours, setting a new world record as the largest ever sale by a living artist. Now if you're interested to know what exactly is special in Pac's work and how exactly he does it, stick around as this video will get even more interesting. So now let's talk about the Merge project. Pac's Merge project is probably his most dynamic and complex project yet, where the drop is simply a dot with a mass each up for sale for $2.99 and collectors could acquire as much mass as they wanted. But at the end, they would only end up with a single token. Meaning if you bought five mass each for $2.99, all of your tokens would have merged into one and you essentially would end up with one token with a mass of five. And as the mass of the token increased, the dot also got bigger and bigger. Now you might say, why would someone pay for a dot and pay more for it to just get bigger and bigger? Well, that's a great question, but the answer is not so simple. Basically, the reason which makes this project very special is that Pac has managed to develop a very complex smart contract. By the way, if you don't know what smart contracts are, I've made a video before about this, so watch this video. This smart contract allows different tokens to merge into one and come under the control of a single ownership and therefore increase his work's scarcity. Smart, huh? He even created a league table where you can also see who owns the largest mass and this completely became a game where everyone wants to be the one with the biggest mass which is named Alpha and is basically the biggest dot, the one in the middle. The game is also an incentive for collectors to collect more tokens and therefore merge more of the existing tokens to basically increase the scarcity of the work. If you are familiar with the NFT world, you would know that as the scarcity goes up, the value of the tokens also go up significantly, usually. And that has been the aim of Pack in this collection. It is also a way to ensure his collectors that they will not regret collecting his work, as they are more likely to go up in value in long term than to decrease. Now let's talk a bit about smart contracts. Smart contracts in a nutshell are trustless contracts that operate on blockchain platforms without the involvement of third parties and are written in code. So basically they are programs. But why and how they are becoming the next big thing in the domain of NFT and crypto art? In simple terms, smart contracts allow artists to creatively form the experience of collectors from their work. They are the tool which artists use to make their artwork more dynamic and non-static. You have probably seen Banksy's artwork which got suddenly shredded into pieces to make a statement. Banksy also cleverly used this to surprise his audience after the artwork was up for sale. He also gained lots of attention and media coverage with such bold moves. In a way, artists like Pac use smart contracts to do the same thing as Banksy did, simply to gain collectors interest and excitement about how the artwork which they acquired would change and surprise them in a way or another. Or as he calls it, there's always a twist. Artists could also use this tool for storytelling. It's always interesting for a collector to see a narrative evolve even further after they acquired the artwork. In conclusion, we can say Pac is the pioneer of using smart contracts 
in NFTs like no one has seen before. And he also showed us how the programming side of NFTs could be an absolute artwork by itself. This way, the artist doesn't only pay attention to aesthetic, but also to the narrative, concept, and the message behind their artwork, and leverage tools like smart contract to make them bold. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope it has helped you to understand how Pack actually uses smart contracts to make unique artworks, every time making the NFT community go nuts. Please subscribe to the channel if you are interested in similar topics and like the video to help the video to reach more people. I hope you have a great rest of the day and see you in the next video.